pig. Peppa plays basketball. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa and her friends are in the playground. Children, says Madame Gazelle, today we have a special person coming to teach you basketball. Ooh, oh wow, Madame Gazelle has a bunch of basketballs in a bag. And all of the kids are wearing white shirts. Pedro Pony, Zoe Zebra, Danny Dog, Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit, Richard Elephant, Freddy Fox, and there's little Miss Peppa. Daddy Pig walks into the playground. Hello, everyone. Look at Daddy Pig with his white shirt on and his glasses. Daddy, <sniffs> snorts Peppa. It isn't home time yet. We've got a special teacher coming. That's me, says Daddy Pig. How exciting. I'm the coach, explains Daddy Pig. A basketball teacher is called a coach. Daddy Pig spins the ball on his finger. Ooh, good job, Daddy Pig. So he has his pointer finger up in the air and he's spinning the ball on his finger. How cool is that? That's clever, Daddy. Peppa says, Daddy Pig, call me coach. Daddy Coach blows his whistle. In basketball, you bounce the ball with your hands, he says. Everyone try. <laughs> Emily Elephant is using her trunk because she's an elephant. And it looks <laughs> so fun. Richard Rabbit and George, they're rolling the ball back and forth. And it looks like Pedro Pony, he's got his up in the air. The children practice bouncing the ball up and down the playground. Well done, children. Throw the ball through the hoop, shouts Daddy Coach. Oops, George throws the ball the wrong way. He still needs a bit more training. <laughs> it's great to practice. And it's a good throw, even though he threw it backwards. He did a good job. Daddy Coach decides it's time to play a game. Split into two teams, he says. The girls are in one team and the boys are in the other. It's not fair, says Pedro Pony. We've got little ones on our team. Don't worry, says Danny Dog. The boys team will still win. Who do you think's gonna win? It's girls against boys. Let's see what happens. Daddy Pig has the whistle in his mouth, so it's about game time. The game starts. Emily catches the ball with her trunk. She is very good at reaching up high with her trunk. That's not fair, says Peppa. Shh, whispers Susie Sheep. She's on our side. Oh, yes, it is fair, decides Peppa. <laughs> Danny Dog's trying so hard to reach up to get the ball, but Emily Elephant's doing a marvelous job at keeping it up in the air. We want Emily on our team, shouts Pedro Pony. No arguing, says Daddy Coach. You can all be on the same team. The children get into one big team. That's what I'm talking about. Teamwork makes the dream work. But who will we play, asks Peppa. <clears throat> says Daddy Coach. Well, <laughs> he threw the ball. Daddy Pig has his mouth like wide open. He's like, <gasps> he threw the ball all the way from the middle of the court to the basketball goal. And I'm pretty sure that it's going to land inside. Good job, Daddy Pig. The parents arrive to take the children home. I know, snorts Daddy Coach. <laughs> You can play the grown-ups. But they're bigger than us, cries Danny Dog. Ah, nods Daddy Coach. But you've been taught basketball by Daddy Coach. Oh, how exciting. It's always fun to play against the parents. Have you ever played a game against your parents before? It's so fun, isn't it? Do you win? I bet you do. Yes, calls Peppa. Let's play. All 
right, shout the grown-ups. George tackles Mr. Elephant, then passes to Zoe Zebra. Zoe passes to Richard Rabbit. Richard passes the ball to Peppa, who throws it through the hoop. Boing! Yippee! Oh, how exciting! Teamwork, teamwork! Well done, everyone! The final whistle blows. The basketball game is over. Everybody cheers. The children's team has won. And it's all thanks to Daddy Coach, says Peppa. Woof! Hooray! <laughs> How fun! Yay! Everybody cheers! The final whistle blew and the game is now over. They had a great, great time. And the children won. Imagine that! Peppa Plays Basketball is a kid's book about a youthful pig named Peppa who needs to figure out how to play ball. With the assistance of her loved ones, she learns the fundamentals of the game and practices to work on her abilities. At last, Peppa and her group have taken a ball competition and play against the boys. They run into a few difficulties. They have some good times and become familiar with the significance of cooperation and sportsmanship. And in the end, they have a final game with the parents. The book stresses the worth of steadiness and the delight of playing sports. The end.